2019 Charlottesville Tom Sox roster is littered with second and third generation standouts, but for Davidson's Walker and Wale, the athletic genes came from both sides of the family. Everywhere Mwale looked up and down his family tree, he could almost certainly find someone who played a sport in college. His mother played volleyball at East Carolina while his father, Scott, lettered for the Kansas Jayhawks football program in the late 80s and the early 90s. But unlike most athletic families, rather than being forced into youth athletics, Mwale hit the field every day simply for the love of the game and to write his own story rather than looking to live up to the legacy his father and mother left. I mean, there was always never really any pressure for uh, to really participate in athletics. It was something that I just kind of picked up. I guess it was in my blood, both my parents being athletes. Uh, my granddad, he was a football coach 40 years. My uncle played baseball at uh, UNCW professionally as well. So it's just something I've always done. Uh, I guess you can say it's in my blood. And while he certainly kept his parents busy attending his many athletic events as a teenager, the North Carolina native played football, basketball, and baseball at Wallace Rose Hill High School. And while I found success in nearly every athletic endeavor, including a pair of state tournament berths in baseball and a state championship in football. At 6 foot 5, 254 pounds, and while certainly looks the part of a college football player, but at the end of the day, the multi-sport athlete decided his future was on the baseball diamond, and he wasn't looking back. Um, so I actually came my the summer following my junior year. I was being recruited for both. Um, just had a few offers for both sports. And uh, ultimately it just came down to which one I uh, had more fun playing. I uh, just enjoyed baseball a lot more. Uh, I mean, I love Friday nights, but uh, football practice isn't that fun. And uh, baseball I just enjoyed a lot more, so that's why I went with it. And while they quickly established himself as one of the most feared batters in the entire Valley Baseball League, in fact, the two-way standout crushed a deep home run in just his fourth at-bat in the season in a game against Stanton. And Wale leads the Tom Sox in long bombs and finished second place in the Valley League's annual home run derby on the All-Star Weekend. Making the switch from metal to wood bats is one of the most difficult transitions from the NCAA season to summer baseball. But the change in equipment has not held him Wale back. Instead, he has shown more discipline at the plate in efforts to become a more productive hitter. Uh, well, there is a difference between to swinging wood and metal, but I feel like my strides this summer have been uh, more mentally with my approach, just swinging at pitches that I can hit. I thought that's been the major difference rather than uh, wood compared to metal. And while his talents go far beyond his hitting abilities, the towering lefty has made several appearances on the mound this summer, typically in late game situations. This year was the first time I pitched. Uh, coaches came up to me and like, they are uh, some need of, in need of some left-handed pitching, so I started pitching. Yeah, I didn't. I only pitched one inning during the season. I was mostly just uh, build myself up, getting more used to throwing, and uh, hopefully look to get some more innings this upcoming season. For Walker and Wale, family ties are only part of the story. He looks to use this summer to get more time at the plate and on the mound for the Davidson Wildcats in his senior year.